Hey you guys, it's me Rachel here with Life of Senza. So, sad news, we did lose one of Velocity's puppies. The last one that came out was um, very tiny and um, very skinny. It looked like it had not been receiving nutrients um, at the very end. I don't know why that happens, but sometimes it does. And the puppy was... Um, just not doing well, and it just unfortunately faded out. And, um, and so anyway, it was a traumatic experience for Velocity, because it's typically, you know, when they fade, it's very loud, and she is a very loving mother, and she was having a real hard time with it, but it's over now. She's quiet now. Everyone just can settle down, and, um, so we are back down to five. But, you know what, um, I don't think that there's anything that we could have done about it. I don't think that the puppy um, was going to make it, like, in general. Like, I just think there was something wrong with it. And I will say it sucks. It's so, it's such a tragedy to go through the event of birth and of being born and to then, um, to then just quickly die. It's just so tragic um, and heartbreaking. But, you know, that's unfortunately the way it goes. Animals that have higher birth rates have higher mortality rates. And so, you know, that's, that's what it is. Um, but anyway, I'm just glad that Velocity's doing well. The labor is over she does seem to be done which is huge because she took so long and it was really stressful um i did talk with my mentor and he said that you know these things can happen and that it doesn't mean anything he said the only time that you need to worry is if it becomes a pattern um having said that though i still um I'm still only going to breed her one more time and um, um, and Trinity, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with my vet and I'll make a decision. So, um, and I'll kind of ask them about what they saw and if that, you know, cause it oftentimes we can falsely assume that one thing means another. It's very common on YouTube in comment sections, people that watch animal um, uh, creators, particularly people who have um, babies, and they often want to falsely assume mm, that certain things mean certain things. You know what I mean? If a female has a hard labor, then she should never be bred again, like that kind of thing. Whereas sometimes it just, a labor is hard. Um, anybody that's had multiple children know that. Sometimes it's just one is more difficult than the other and there's really no rhyme or reason. Um, so, you know, having said that, like I said, I'll, um, Velocity did well. She's fine. She made it through. She's good. So um, I'll probably breed her one more time. And then Trinity, I'll talk to my vet and see. And if she thinks that she can... If, it, if she thinks it was just a one-off and it didn't have anything to do with one another, I will say that um, I kind of feel was responsible because it was the first time I've ever sent my dog off for stud to somebody else's house, and then that dog stayed there for a while. Um, she stayed at Vicky's for a while, and during that process, Vicky was feeding her raw. And um, when she came back to me, she was like as we talked about they can lose weight during that transition and so she didn't have the best weight on her it's not vicky's fault it's not that she was negligent it's that that's part of when they switch to raw it's just one of the things they do is they kind of lean out um and vicky really believes in the raw and so you know she's feeding her the best that she could as far as what she you know believe was the best thing and um and so anyway so Part of me thinks that it's because she started off on a bad foot. I spent a lot of time trying to get um, kind of her weight back up. And then and then I just realized that it just was going right to her belly. And um, 
And so anyway, we'll see. We will see. The vet did not seem even the least bit concerned. Um, whenever I was talking to her, she didn't have any uterine tears like her sister Blondie did. Um, so, and at the very most, it would only ever be one more litter because once you have a cesarean, you can't just, I don't know anybody that's ethical that would just keep going in and doing repeated cesarean, cesarean, cesarean. Like that's just ridiculous. Um, and so even if we do, it'll only be one more time. Um, I'm exhausted <laughs> as I've been saying, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, at least I'm done now. This is, this was it for now. Um, not very, I think this is the only time I've ever had this many litters at one time. Um, and uh, I'm just beat, man. I'm just so freaking beat. But I do like the fact that um, Velocity had um, a, you know, what, what is a large litter for her. Six puppies is the most she's ever had. And she had it last time and now this time. And um, it's a good number. It's an easy number for a dog to have. Um, for example, Nirvana had five. And um, her... Um, Yoni has already stopped. Um, she doesn't have, like, she she doesn't really have much drainage or anything like that going on. And so it is easier for them to bounce back from five, six puppies than it is, like, what Trinity's going through with ten puppies. Um, or thirteen, as she's had previously. Um, I will say somebody had a good idea on my Sins of Tempo channel in, in um, suggesting to do artificial insemination with Trinity, if I do. That way we could get uh, probably a smaller litter number. And um, and that's not a bad idea. Uh, we may do something like that. So it just depends. Um, you know, there's a lot that, that's going on and nothing's really set in stone. And so I have some more females coming up and um, ultimately... I'll take everything into consideration before I decide that I'm going to retire her um, or not. So, um, so anyway, I'm excited about these puppies. There's some um, some nice black females in here, and I uh, wasn't expecting to be able to get a black female out of Velocity, but here we are. And I, th I think all the females are black, so that's interesting. Um, there's a really big black female in there. She was the first one. She was the one that kind of slowed everybody down. <laughs> and, um, and so anyway, so she might be the one, you know, we'll see. Uh, I did already pick, um, Izzy. Izzy had the best structure, the best head in her litter, but particularly the best structure. So I've already picked a puppy based on structure and um so i don't have a problem picking on size this time and i will say after this labor like i'm not gonna lie i don't care what anybody tries to say about me picking a puppy on size when you have had to pull puppies out of these smaller females um you quickly realize the importance of having a female that can manage these very big males that i've got um, Nirvana had an extremely large female, this brindle female in this litter, extremely large female, bigger than Berlin because Berlin had, um, a larger litter. She had more puppies in that litter. Whereas with, um, this litter, she only had five. And so these puppies were able to get much larger in the womb than, than the 10 puppies were. And she was still able to do it. And, and it did not take her long. Um, she did it like a champ and same thing with Mona. She did really well. Melina does really well. Um, so I just really want to focus on getting these big females in because I do have some very large males, some very large lines coming up and my females need to be able to do it. They need to be able to handle it. And so it's not about me just being a size queen, <laughs> pun intended, but you know, it's, we really do have to size up because, um, if you've ever had to get in and pull puppies and things like that, it is not fun. It is, it is extremely stressful. It makes birthing not enjoyable at all. It makes it a very stressful situation and, and potentially extremely costly because, and it will ruin the female's breeding career. Like Trinity, 
this cesarean um, cost her her breeding the rest of her breeding career and the same thing happened with blondie um blondie also um had just those you know big old batista puppies on that jefe litter and she had to get a cesarean and then you can only really truly you can only ethically breed them one more time after that um i think it's unethical to continue going in and getting cesareans like that's just ridiculous the level of scar tissue like that's not okay um so anyway that's where we're at that's that's what i'm up to um i'm gonna take a rest and i hope you guys are having a good day and i hope you enjoy this little little tidbit of what kind of what happened and it's probably better to be a Senza Tempo video, but honestly, I've already uploaded over there, and um, anyway, so it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Bye.